the, the Western idea, particularly the American idea, is prosperity is a right that everybody has, and you can get as rich as you can. Well, game over. You can't. You can't imagine, you know, if, six, uh, if one billion Indians all own cars, uh, not possible. Not possible. If one million Indians ate meat as much, one billion Indians, God forbid, ate meat as much as Europeans, Americans, kaput, there will be a price to be paid in the entire ecosystem. But more importantly, 600 million Indians don't have what is called a permanent home. 600 million. That's twice the population of Europe. They have that human right to a home, which is not a nice, you know, Berlin flat or a nice place in, uh, you know, downtown Geneva. It's a simple place with a light bulb, a toilet, water, a roof, and a door. The materials needed to just produce that will rock the world in terms of the materials. Think about it. So those are basic human rights. Those, those rights can only, cannot be met through a laissez-faire economic model of trickle-down and hoping that FDI will invest in these countries. And my God, the democratization of everything will create freedoms that these people can be removed from their drudgery. It will not happen. The state has to organize that very differently, which means it has to impose certain restrictions on certain activities, which essentially deprive the majority from access to resources. So that's the, that's the fundamental political argument. At the moment, we, adore, we don't look like we're winning this argument. My, my hope and my, what I like to try to contribute is cutting deep into the bone marrow and not letting nonsense basically describe the dilemma we have. So my second book, I actually challenge the SDGs. I challenge the idea of sustainability. And the truth be told, these are all written by Westerners who do not want to go because it's taboo in the West to challenge the notion of the state and what is democracy. Because my view is in the larger states, we have to redefine freedom and rights. And the more democratic you are, the more paralyzed you'll be, as we see in Europe. And so what does that look like? But that doesn't mean, my, I'm saying, the right for 600 million Indians to have a home is the most fundamental human right. Not freedom of speech, to go and protest, because that creates chaos. So how is that fundamental freedom being offered to people? It cannot be offered through our current models.